All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Stick War Legacy. The last upload was nuts. 5,500 likes and 2,000 comments. You guys love Stick War Legacy. I'm also planning on doing a lot of this over on the other channel, Baron Von Tactics, next week. So if you want to subscribe there, go for it. So we'll continue. We're on night nine. Look at this, man. The amount of zombies coming over. I think we're fine, though. We've got a giant to soak up the damage. Now, I can't build another wizard even though i've got enough money he must take multiple unit slots so i'm thinking maybe another spartan no i can't there we go i can't make another spartan but i can make another archer see look at it look at them throwing their body like they're throwing what infected pieces Ooh, the miner went down i don't i don't think we need other miners so i'm actually gonna get another archer out here look at this but yeah, so this is the endless waves of the zombies, right? But I'm very curious to see what the campaign is like. I think that would be a lot of fun. And then there's the tournament mode. Once I have a better understanding of the game, I want to get into the tournament mode. But I just love how, like, even with- this is just one game. There's still Stick Wars 1 and Stick Wars 2, which are on the PC, and you can play them online as, like, what? They're, like, Java-based games? It's funny, man. This rem reminds me back to the days of when I would play games on popcap.com and uh new grounds and armor games and just like how i love that and all those style of games is like all those games have now largely migrated from you know these web browsers to now they're just mobile apps it's kind of crazy now oh, are we are we not gonna fire and shoot him there we go Let's give- let's give that man a salvo. Oh, they're retreating. Okay, so we survived another night, so yeah, I'm not sure about the giant would be the best unit. He's big. You guys said that for zombies mode, he's not the best. So here we go. I'm curious about what your strategies and tactics are for the zombies mode and for the campaign, because obviously they would be a little bit different. So here we go. Spirits and health per level. I could also get stun damage per level would be pretty cool. Plus one minions? Oh, that's interesting. So if you upgraded that, the wizards would really be a good multiplier. Now maybe, does that affect his food supply? Knights 10, survivors, a complete army. All right, but you can see we have some weak units. They will fall over time. I figure now at this point, I don't need any more miners. Oh wow, these guys are fast. They just got here. My giant didn't even get in a position. One of them even got to the archer line. All right, so they had a little bit of a blitz and now we've got these armored zombies, which are old Spartans that have fallen in battle, maybe at Thermopylae, who knows? And now they're serving the armies of the dead. Yep, look at that, they, they are getting in the lines, but we're able to stop them for the most part. Did we lose anybody? We did lose somebody, I'm not sure who. We've got two miners going. I think I want another Spartan unit. So once someone falls, which will probably be an archer, I'm going to get another Spartan. Here we go. Ooh, there's a lot of armored zombies. Maybe the giant would be really good against these. He's already at like maybe 55 to 60% health. And you can see, oh, I guess he does a stun attack because you, you saw a number of the numbers pop up. Wow, this guy's got a ton of health. The archers will be able to cut them down before they get here, but when there's this group of four, it'll be a little trickier to see. I'm actually curious. Will they get into the line? Will they get through? Or will we cut them down before? I wish we could upgrade to like crossbows or get like siege ballistas or like build a castle behind us. Man, this really makes me like start imagining like the just mobile game ideas. This would be so fun. So I'm playing this on an emulator. I'm playing this on PC. And I think some functions of it actually are better on mobile than PC. Wow. Yeah, so they didn't get that far. And we survived night 10. Tis a glorious day. 33 finished off. Now, the last night there was three or four that survived, right? All right, so this is what I was curious about. The barricade. I wanna upgrade that, and then I'm also gonna upgrade my Spiritan health per level. Oh, okay, so it builds a giant rock wall. Interesting. All right, so the zombies are coming. Now, will we be able to shoot our arrows over there or will it just slow them down? I guess it does allow us to get in a position and it costs 500 gold. Now that we have nothing else to spend it on, now that we've got that, I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna buy one more arrow, one more archer rather. Wow, that's gonna take a while. Oh no, this actually might be bad because it'll bunch them all up. 
I'm not sure if this is a good idea. So what are these special abilities? Looks like this is a, a volley of arrows. Which would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't know about this wall, guys. We may have messed up. But this is using the premium currency that I have to put real money in. I might do it in the future. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we need these special abilities? Guys, all the zombies are gonna come at once. See, they all stop and bunch up. This might be... That may have been the worst idea. If so, we can just fall back to the castle. That's one of the options. We'll fall behind this little... I thought we were gonna build another one of these spears. Alright, so here we go. This is the full test. But we will get to see the wizard and the giant in action. Well, maybe. There's a lot of spitters going on here. Oh, yeah. This is not good because I'm not sure... Here we go. Alright, we're gonna take control here. I'm just... Alright, retreat! 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 He's gonna- he's gonna fall in combat if we don't pull him back. Yeah, so that functionality right there I think would be a lot better on mobile than on PC. Yeah, a lot of units are poisoned, but I think we will have endured this. It's 9-11, what else do we got? There's no new zombies. We've still largely dealt with the same types. We haven't seen any of the creepy crawlies. So there's what, two left, right? And then the- There we go, they decided to retreat. So you guys were talking about skins, right? Now I've got 120. So what's this? Plus build speed increase, plus build cost decrease, and user control speed to get the leaf. Skin, and they look different. I don't think we need that one. That would have been good at the beginning. Slows enemy units. User control short freeze. Stun reduction, bonus damage to deads. Oh, this is what we want. The savage one for these guys. But look at that, it's a thousand and we get a little bit, yeah, so without buying it. Hmm, so we're not gonna be able to do that this time around. Alright, we've upgraded the wizard to full. Now, I didn't build the rock wall this time. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Oh, look at the wizard! He spawned in his minions, and now his staff is upgraded to red. And you can see, oh, here's my hero. He's got a regular, uh, kind of like, Greek, Spartan-looking helmet. I'm not sure what this helmet is called, and he doesn't have a golden chevron, or lambda, rather, on the front. Oh, we got a new unit type. Giant dead boss. Okay. It's night 12. High health, immune to stuns, and immune to headshots. Well, that's most of my attacking prowess here. Okay, so here he is. Whoa, who's this dude? That's not him. We've got the Grim Reaper out there. Powerful wizard who is able to reap your units away from their formation. Long range, weak to user controlled units, and tricks your army. Uh, alright. I'm a little worried because a lot of the people are not at full health. But we have a decent amount of money built up. I wish my archers had longer range. That'd be cool to be able to upgrade their range. Or put in a barricade. I wish I could put in a barricade. Alright. So... Wow, that boss unit is is like right here he's got a ton of health now where's that reaper the grim reaper he's walking slowly we haven't lost anything yet but we will definitely yeah people are starting to drop oh my god oh wow this is bad this is bad we're losing soldiers fast oh what is this he just reaped an archer away. Most of the losses have come to Spartans. So I'm trying to get them out as fast as I can. Alright, things are starting to get really, really scary, man. I don't think I need this giant unit. Oh, he's reaping someone else. He's, he's tricking them and pulling them away. He's way over here. Oh, the giant fell. Alright, we won though. Night 12, victory. <sighs> Alright, so I think we messed up by not upgrading the armor to the f max level. Night 13. And we're at 33, so I think we need... Alright, I'm, I'm upgrading as much as I can. We're at 5,000. Alright, so we got the creepy crawlies. We may have to fight another boss. I think I do need to use or control my unit over there to, like, destroy the reaper. But it said that... Did he say he was weak to them or strong to them? Maybe he's weak to user-controlled units and we kind of messed up. Alright, full salvos out, boys. Arrows to the knees. Oh, that one was able to throw and he poisoned one of the little, uh, recruits here. So where are the new units? I guess everybody's out there on the field? Alright, let's look to see if- Oh, there is another Reaper out there. I'm gonna need to send out a unit to go get him. 
And this is where I really wish we weren't emulating this on the PC. We were playing it on mobile because... I don't know about the controls. Oh my god. I thought that was a new unit for a second. Alright. How do I get through there? And there goes the archer. He's dead. So we'll... we'll We'll replace him. Having these little arrow barrages would be helpful for sure. But we're basically doing this with no premium. No premium currency. Alright, you know what? Like, wouldn't it be cool if I could, like, press a button? Oh! Get around him. Get around him. Oh, he tripped. Yeah, he just started running the other way. Alright. I was trying to get him. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. We might have to work on a mobile setup because controlling units is terrible. Alright, wizards are fully upgraded. The hoplites are fully upgraded. Archers are fully upgraded. The one unit that's not, well, the giants. There's the giants, and then there's the sword wraith. Eh, or the sword wrath. Now, with the sword wrath, I wonder if it wouldn't be, since they're so cheap, they'd be a really good way to support the front lines by spending cheaper units. Once we start upgrading them, I'll start using them a little bit more. Yeah. Dude, look at the wizard with his golden hat. All right, he's spawning. Oh, look at this. He's got four of these guys. All right. Oh, oh, no way. We've got slow moving giant spiritin, spiritin, dead boss. Extremely high health, immune to stuns, and immune to headshots. So he's basically what we just fought, just far more armored. And we've got a reaper. So I think what I need to do is send out one brave soldier. All right, soldier. You're there to come to get the reaper. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. We got him. We got the reaper. <laughs> Pull back. Okay. Yeah. See, right now I have to do it. I get one basic finger. Like the mouse is like a finger, right? And so mobile, you'd have, you'd be able to do, you'd be able to move the guy and hit the buttons at the same time. So definitely better. All right, have we lost anybody? We haven't even lost anybody either. I know, I'm, I'm sure we will, but let's see. All the Spartans on the ground right now are the zombie Spartans. And the wizard stuns everybody, so that's super... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this is... This is insanity. The wizard is definitely key. Do we need more than one wizard, though? I think we need to start getting... I think we need to get a second wizard, honestly. But I'm wondering if we're gonna be able to survive this at all. The wizard's gonna take too long to make. So I need some, I need some cheap and quick melee warriors because the lines are about to get overrun, I think. The wizard's holding his own. And we've only lost two. Oh my god, we held out. We didn't kill them though. Now here's the thing. Do those surviving units come to affect us in future levels? Alright, so I'm thinking damage per level, health, and foot speed. So it's like reinforcements get there. I'm gonna balance it out right now. Alright, we are ready for night 15. And we're one man down. I'm gonna go ahead... Spartan must take two units. It'd be cool if you could build like a house and then have your unit population be able to go up from like 40 to 45 or 50 or something. Alright, night 15. We got one big boss and a bunch of regulars. I'm not too worried about the regulars. Are some of these bigger than the others, or does it just look that way? I think it just looks that way because they're closer to the screen. But right now... Maybe it's just a ton of them. Testudo formation! What, what, it, what was it when, uh, in the movie Troy, with Brad Pitt, when he was Achilles, and the Myrmidon stormed the beaches of Troy, and the Myrmidon were like the elite Greek warriors of Achilles, right? And so they form this really, really cool shield wall to basically, like, block incoming arrows. And then they countercharged and overtook the archers that were defending the beach. It was basically like Trojan D-Day. Oh, man, that guy got knocked back real hard. He's not very strong. All right, they are amongst us. The units are still performing admirably. Not letting them pass the front lines. Oh my gosh! Alright, now what we do is we reinforce with sword units. Just to get them up to the front lines as fast as possible. We only lost one. It's very difficult to see exactly what's happening. I think we're about to lose a Spartan right here. He's fighting the big giant himself. Bravely, look at it! He did it! He got him! He got him! We survived. I need a medic bay so badly it's absurd. This is getting a little out of hand. All right, so we've got a gold sword, and it kind of like, it almost looks like tinfoil. So this is the unit composition for Knight 16. 
One wizard, seven Spartans, 18 archers, one melee guy. We never really have a lot more than one melee guy. And look how many units are weak. I think in those cases it may be advantageous. Maybe advantageous to get a second wizard. Just look at him being able to spawn those guys. And there's our little our little tinfoil hat swordsman. I really love the look. Although I wish it wasn't like this is kind of like the gladiator kind of gauntlet. What would you call that? The mask? The guard? Formation! Alright. Bunch of creepy crawlies in mass numbers. Yeah, like if I could, I think I want to invest in one of these special abilities because our archers are doing good, but are they doing enough? Cutting most of them down, but as soon as one big tank unit comes in, which I haven't seen any, this might just be an endless zombie wave. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, keep up the arrow fire. They haven't gotten here yet, but they, you can tell where the bodies are and where the jam splatters are, that they're slowly but surely moving their way up. Oh, this one's got an arrow in the head. There's a lot of arrows in the heads, boys. I guess most of them on the field are arrows to the heads. We're just super accurate, you know? And you can see that 39 versus 17. 39 is basically a critical hit when it hits him in the head. And then 17 is the, you know, non-critical body shot. Alright, they have made it here. And this little minion guy, he, he just fell. Luckily, they don't immediately join the army of the dead. So we don't have to worry about that. Look at this swordman. Let's take command of him. Charge! Oh. Well. Yeah, I need- <laughs> I need- I, I, I almost need two mouses. Two mice. Let's see if that archer won't get out in time. Probably not. We survived the night 16. So here we go. If I go to the shop, see gems? Oh man, look at that. So wait a minute. This is... A thousand gems? Let's say a thousand gems is ten bucks. And this archer thing is 40 cents? I want to buy one. I want to buy one. So here we go. Which one of these should I buy? I've got 170. I want to see if I can't do this without buying anything. I don't need a gold rush. I don't need a sword wrath rage, which is interesting. Archer John sent a volley of non-stop arrows for 20 seconds. That could be huge. But I'm wondering if we get one per turn. And look at this. Spirit and Madness. Spirit and throw their spears and do double damage for 20 seconds. That's amazing. We can throw the spears? All right, so let me know. Some of you guys are like supreme veterans, right? You guys recommended I play the campaign. So if you want to see the campaign, you want to see a second series brought out on Stick War Legacy because we will continue the zombie siege, then let me know because I'm all for it. I think it would be a lot of fun. And then let me know what tactics we should do because we're starting to come up against... It's starting to get a lot harder. And there's only so many upgrades we can do, right? So anyway guys, thanks for watching another episode of Stick War Legacy. I'm curious to see if this one's going to have as much interaction or, or as many comments and likes as fast as the last one did. Because it was like within one, two, three hours. Oh, it was nuts. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.